Hello everybody, two months back, TCS has mentioned that they are going to upskill 600,000 of their employees on Gen AI skills, 6 lakh employees. And in the last one week, they released a statement saying that they have already upskilled 3.5 lakh employees on these generative AI skills. How is it even possible? To think about it, almost all of them potentially working on client projects. And you can't take out a lot of time to upskill yourself on a complex topic like AI. At best, you can allocate one hour every week. That's it. And how can you do in two months and how much time can you allocate in two months seven to eight hours would that be enough would you call that hey this entire group of people are now ready and already upskilled in AI. Very tricky. I personally have worked at Accenture and I have worked for a very long time in the corporate world. I know what trainings mean. Whenever it's a mandatory training and the deadline is, let's say, April 15th, you get on the training and you try to finish it on April 14th, midnight. That's how these trainings work. But there is another important element to this. Almost all the IT services companies are now pushing their employees to upskill in AI. This is not a boom or this is not going to be a bubble that will end by the end of this year. All the organizations are taking this extremely seriously. Even Wipro, as a matter of fact, has recently come up with a collaboration with Indian Institute of Sciences, IISC, for an M-Tech program in AI for their employees. Organizations have no other choice. As they come up with better products, better services for clients, the underlying technology would also change. And as the technology changes, the employees should also go along with the flow. You either consider it as an opportunity or you are moving away from the market. As we continue into the next section of the video, I want to highlight how can you upskill. This is not an opportunity that comes up every single year. This is a once in a generation kind of opportunity that you have an ability to learn something really new and potentially get that great job that is AI. And how should you think about upskilling? The first step is to understand the basics, right? whether you are looking at learning a language, a programming language, or understanding the subject behind it. The fundamentals of data, fundamentals of statistics, fundamentals of Python, what you need to know to proceed forward to the next level. A lot of it has to be you consuming this information. The second point, once you consume this information, is how you take this information and subsequently implement it in your day-to-day -day corporate life. Because unless you implement it, you just cannot stick with these learnings. For example, you go ahead and learn Excel, but the learnings with Excel don't stick with you unless you start using Excel. Some formulas you will forget, some formulas you don't even know, you can go back to your notes and refer to them, but you have to start applying formulas. Only after that, a few months down the lane, you will know that, hey, I know all these types of formulas, all these kind of things, and I'm good with Excel. Implementation is the key. And once you start implementing, then only only you can move into the third step that is how do all these pieces come together so that a new business opportunity is available for your company for your client can you go and participate in a hackathon can you create a proof of concept all these things is the third level once you start implementing it you consume you implement you participate this is how you should think about your next steps in the upskilling journey but let me also highlight what is the most important problem that you would face in your upskilling journey. In my opinion, it is about your motivation. Understanding how you keep yourself motivated throughout this journey is extremely important because you might be in that adrenaline rush and say, hey, I'll purchase this course, but I'm not going to use it. Two weeks down the lane, you are not even going back and looking at the course. What do you do? The first way is to make sure that the course is also pushing you towards completion. That is where exactly Geeks for Geeks 390 challenge comes in. You achieve at least 90% course completion within 90 days of purchasing any of the Geeks for Geeks courses in April and you get 90% refund on your course fee. Yes, you read that right. 90% course completion in 90 days and you get 90% of your fees back. It's your chance to invest in yourself with the added bonus of a potential refund. And this will keep you motivated because the incentive is very strong. But wait, there's a lot more to this 390 challenge. They are also offering exclusive perks such as 
one-on-one -on -one mock interviews and job assistance where you get personalized support to ace your interviews and land your dream job. You also have access to unique career opportunities in top tech companies. And finally, you receive expert feedback on your resume to make it stand out in the competitive job market. This challenge provides a structured and motivating way to enhance your skills, enabling you to advance your career and potentially secure that high paying job. Check out the link in the description box and enroll today for the 390 challenge. Number two, you have to understand that the upskilling incentives are typically aligned with your long-term goals and not short-term benefits. So you need to think about this upskilling little differently. And what do I mean by these incentives? Thinking about this upskilling journey as not a one-time activity, but rather as a continuous habit. And the third thing is, is the point you have a great support system, a group of colleagues, friends. If you are keen, you can go ahead, write in the comment section as well. Hey, your email ID and say, I'm interested to participate in a small steady group. It is important because if you are down, somebody else will motivate you and you can do vice versa with others. Again, this collaboration is something which you need to be considering as more important than competition in your upskilling journey. And once you get over that motivation barrier, you then need to understand what are the incentives that are aligned for you. The first and the most important incentive is, as I already mentioned, this kind of opportunity, especially the AI opportunity, is something which doesn't arise every single year. So you need to pick that opportunity and see where else can you apply it? Where else can you grow? If you are right now learning this, there is a very high probability that you are not only looking at high salary, but you are also looking at a different role. And that role can give you a 360 degree exposure around what is happening in your company. And that's good for your career trajectory to be much more steeper. If it is going like this, it will definitely become like this, right? The slant, the slope of the line will increase. Think about it. Of course, there is a salary benefit as well. Now, the fourth and the most important thing is you have to realize it is an opportunity and not a threat. You don't move forward. The companies have no other option but to innovate. So they will keep moving forward. I personally believe this entire upskilling journey is not just an add on optional thing for us in our careers anymore. It is mandatory. It is something which we need to consider very, very seriously and also do it. 20 years back, when folks entered the IT services industry, it was new, they could make a lot of money and they have had good careers. But now for you to move on that same path, you need to get on this new wave and understand this is a habit. Upskilling is a habit and it should never be a one-time thing. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.